Sea Serpent. Fun Spot Orlando has two main roller coasters, and then Sea Serpent, which is the kitty coaster, located in the kitty section. But this coaster does offer some decent roller coaster elements, and is worth riding both for coaster credit and just the pure enjoyment of riding it. Find out why I enjoy Sea Serpent in this review. Oh my God, made by ENF Myler Industries, the same manufacturer that made Hurricane and Screaming Eagle at the other Fun Spot parks. This is a popular type of kitty coaster because it combines a nice kitty coaster layout with some decent thrills. Although the track may make it look older than it is, most of these coasters originated in the 1990s with this sea serpent opening in 1997. This version got its start at Playland in New Jersey, where it operated from 1997 to 2012, before being relocated to Fun Spot Orlando. Of its particular oval layout, there are six versions currently operating, including the Great Pumpkin Coaster at Kings Island and Kings Dominion. Other layouts, such as Kitty Coaster at Fun Spot Kissimmee, exist as well, but this is probably one of the better layouts for this kind of coaster. The ride does seem like it is almost exclusively ridden by children, as even most adults don't seem to ride with their kiddos. But there is no posted max height restriction and the attendant gladly scanned my wristband and gave me a seat, just like any of the children around me. So for those adults seeking the credit, go for it. I do want to give a shout out to the attendants on these rides as even the few rides I did get, they seem to have children not wanting to sit down in the coaster, not following loading directions, and parents yelling at them on top of their children's misbehavior. If there are any true heroes working at Fun Spot, these would be those heroes. As for the coaster, the restraint is a bit odd, but very freeing. It consists of a lap bar that will be far above your lap and an attached strap that will be lowered to help hold you in place. Although you shouldn't go flying out of the car, you will be free to pop up for any airtime as well as move side to side if you are riding in a car alone. The first drop offers decent airtime, especially for a kiddie coaster. The freeing restraint makes one really able to enjoy this drop. There's a quick turn at the bottom of the drop that will mix that airtime with laterals that will throw you to the left side of the car. Although I would prefer my laterals separate, this is a nice combination for a drop that you won't see this well executed on most roller coasters. Then you travel over two more bunny hills. Each bunny hill gives you a nice quick pop of airtime as you're thrown over it just like you were riding on a sea serpent. Most kiddie coasters would have a nice drop and then nothing special after that. So it is nice to see two oh God, really off. decent airtime hills oh God, on off. this coaster. Oh my God, you then get to go for a second lap in true kiddie coaster fashion. Overall, how good is Sea Serpent? This is where my rankings of kiddie coasters start to break down. This could easily be one of the better kiddie coasters out there, especially when it comes to nice airtime feelings with those three separate hills. I rank this easily above Fun Spot's kiddie coaster at Fun Spot Kissimmee, as well as the nice laterals of Rithfi Hop, and even the much larger Grover's Boxcar Derby at SeaWorld Orlando. However, I rank it below the kitty coasters at my home parks in Streamliner Coaster and Grover's Boxcar Derby at SeaWorld San Antonio. Both of these coasters offer very memorable drops for me. Streamliner, in particular, I've experienced so many different times that I truly idolize the best rides that I've gotten on that coaster. Even if the overall coaster isn't as good as its few best rides. 
Grover's Boxcar Derby at Seawall San Antonio has a twisted turn after the drop that simply blows me away. Though, Sea Serpent's own drop and turn is nice enough to be very similar. Ultimately, it may not be your favorite overall kitty coaster, but it should stand a pretty good chance at being one of the better kitty coasters that you will ride. How much do you like Sea Serpent? Does its drop offer enjoyable airtime? Is this one of the better kitty coasters that you've ridden? Let me know. And as always, cup crap.